Hi friends and partners, I'm so excited to be coming to you from week one of summer camp 2024. Uh, this morning I'm at New Life Ranch, Flint Valley, and throughout the summer I'll be over at Frontier Cove as well with this uh, prayer update. I'll actually be going over there later today, uh, driving the boat this afternoon for those junior campers, and uh, I, I love doing that. Uh, but please be in prayer for us. Uh, thank you for praying up to this point. Uh, we had a tremendous retreat season uh, from January 1st until June 1st of 2024 was uh, some of the most people ever uh, on, both, on both properties, uh, fulfilling our mission of proclaiming the gospel and equipping believers from Asia. Thank you for your prayers for that. Thank you for your prayers in leading up to summer camp. Um, the, the recruiting and hiring process was the best that it had ever been. Uh, thank you for praying for campers to get here and they're finally here and we're excited about that. We have nearly 500 overnight campers between both sites. Uh, we have just over 100 leadership campers uh, that are here uh, for the next two weeks, three, four weeks of summer camp. Uh, we won't be starting day camp until next week. Uh, week two, we'll have day camp going at Flint Valley, so you can be praying about that as well. Uh, be in prayer for uh, our Timothy teamers. Uh, tomorrow, they'll be leaving on their hike. They'll be gone Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday on a, a pack trip where they're gonna be learning some valuable leadership skills on the trail together. Um, so please be in prayer about what's happening this summer. Uh, look down in the comments for just some details about specific prayer requests um, so you can be more intentional with those, those prayers for us. Uh, but one of the things I wanna do uh, today and, and then throughout the summer is, you've probably heard that our theme this summer is mosaic. Where we're looking at the, the, the I am statements through the book of John. And what's awesome about that is, is, is first in, in Exodus 3, God describes himself to Moses as I am. And throughout the, the Old Testament, uh, he describes himself in that way and, and meaning uh, Jehovah, uh, meaning Lord, meaning Yahweh. And then centuries later, Jesus comes along and in John it's recorded these I am statements. There's seven I am statements. And so as we go throughout the summer, I just want to reference those as well as, as we uh, chat together just for a moment. Uh, that first I am statement is in John chapter 6, uh, verse 35. And actually, I'm going to start in verse 32. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. It is not Moses who has given you bread from heaven, but it is my Father who gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Sir, they said, from, from now on, Give us this bread. Verse 35, then Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. What a powerful statement. And, and very much a prayer of ours that this summer, campers would understand what that means. That Jesus is the bread of life. He will sustain them, fulfill them. That their identity hopefully would be found in Him. And that'd be our hope and prayer for you as well, that you would understand the I am statements of Jesus and grow in a relationship with him. So again, thank you so much for praying for us this summer. Uh, as always, uh, be prayerful of our Mission 1914 Camper Scholarship Fund. I mean, we never want finances to hinder a kid from coming to camp at New Life Ranch. And we've already given away about $625,000 this year, and we'd love to give away more. And we're trusting the Lord to provide those funds by the end of this calendar year. And then the last thing I would mention and ask for prayers for and your consideration is uh, the Generations Campaign. How do we make New Life Ranch sustainable for generations to come? And there's information on our website. Um, myself or Tim Hale or Shelby Moody would love to have a conversation with you about all the, the specific aspects uh, to that campaign and how you might be able to partner with us. We've got a tremendous match opportunity right now with the, the Maybe Foundation that has a deadline of January 7th. Uh, that might sound like it's a long way away, but it gets closer every day. Uh, so we would love to meet that match to be able to, to receive that goal and, and, and receive that $167,000 gift from them. So please be in prayer about the Generations Campaign. Again, thank you for your partnership. Uh, we need you to be in this with us this summer, each and every day. Thank you guys. Bye.